we are going to hike to Dakesawa Hut. And this is the valley of Kamikochi with the Azusa River. And then the trail goes up here. And I was told by someone that it's around one and a half hours. And that's why I didn't bring any food and drinks with me. However, it turns out that is more than two and a half hours to get all the way to there. No way, we are only here. Like, I'm already <laughs> so much tired and out of breath that I was imagining that we must be around here. And look how much there is still to climb. And this is how it looks like. Ah, wow. And it's super hot. Like I've been taking off and off all of my clothes. I've left my down jacket and gloves and other warmers and the pullover bundled together, hidden behind a tree. So I have to pick them up when I go back. And as you can see, it's so hot. I suppose it's 18 or something. <laughs> ah. Finally, we reached here an opening, but the trail still goes on and on. Who knows how far and... But yeah, here we can see the mountains. And until now, it was just like this. Forest, forest, and these huge rocks. Yes, from now we have to rely on such markings. Because look what's ahead. Only rocks. But t tell the truth, I like this lunar landscape. Just follow the white dots on the stones. Wow. Yes, and now at least we have color matching golden leaves. <laughs> because here they still stick to the tree, like down there, everything is falling down and empty. Ah. And we still have a lot ahead. So like 20 minutes ago, I was sure, of, oh, we are almost there. No, look at this bloody halfway only. So we are basically here. And our goal is to get there. And of course the professionals and the cool guys climb all the way up here. Wow, crazy. Only halfway, I can't believe this. And yes, the forest way is back. Still halfway. I have no water, no food, nothing with me. But we found berries! Wow! Food! Oh yes! Like rubies in the sun. Really sparkling like rubies in the sun. I'm so thankful to you, berries. So I set them here just to be able to photograph them nicer. See the, you can see that big seed inside. So all of them have a huge seed that I'm not going to eat. And the skin neither because it's kind of thick, but they are filled with a bitter liquid, but it's still kind of really enjoyable. As I was admiring the landscape here, I didn't look above me. And then when I looked, look what I saw. Berries! A lot of them. Yes, I tried one. Uh, I'm not dead yet, so... I guess on the way back, if I should be needing some food or liquid, they will be my prey. Ah, so this is the trail and it still goes on. This is what I'm aiming for, for a type of landscape that is barren like this one. So that's why I'm keeping climbing, hopeful that we will get a bigger opening. We are pretty high on the mountain and if you saw my other hiking video, <laughs> totally unprofessional hiking video wearing beach sandals, 
that was so good i'm telling you like those beach sandals were so helpful for the foot to be free and climb naturally this time i'm wearing like not really hiking boots but like a more really good serious shoe and because of that i'm so slow at climbing so i just took them off left them somewhere down there and i'm climbing the rest barefoot let me show you well okay i have socks on <laughs> so this is how high we are this is the path and say hello to my socks so yeah i swear it is so much easier to you know to be climbing like this and even if i should step on these grasses it's way better than having those very hard shoes on Much better. Stuff goes on. Yeah. Well, in the prehistoric times, humans used to walk barefoot, so it's not like it's a new invention or what. Ah, wow, and it's a nice massage. And of course, you are watching where you put your foot to uh, avoid something that might look sharp. But yes, yeah. climbing the mountain barefoot, so much better. And we are now at uh, uh, number two. So, we are still not at one. Ah, stop, please. Final die to the hat. Hurdle. Okay. <laughs> hurdle, final hurdle. Ah, yes. Final hurdle to the hat. <laughs> ah, I am so much better since I took my damn shoes off. I swear to God. I'm so much better having my lipstick on, Tom Ford, lacquer, patent lacquer. So that one, I do have it with me, <laughs> not water, but Tom Ford, like seriously, can you go hiking without Tom Ford? It's the best out there. It's way better than Chanel or Dior or any other lipstick maker. That's why recently I'm... Mm. <laughs> yeah, I bought them all. It looks cool. It's a um, patent type, you know, like patent shoes. So it lasts and it's the best lipstick in the world. The most cinematic and it matches this mountain and my socks. <laughs> One thing is true. The socks are a bit sliding on the rocks so i wish i wish they would have here um like some rubber to avoid to avoid me sliding on on you know such surface this would be a bit dangerous to step here but we can grab like this see and still go on yes fight adato the last hurdle to the hut again still didn't reach the top but you now you can see how high we are guess what i think i found blueberries the tree is quite high and i've eaten some and they don't have seeds inside that much so it's a different type it's not so tasty but it is survival <laughs> look see they're a little bit shriveled no idea what this is but it's food. 
Most of it liquid, that's what I want. <sighs> Jackpot, I think these are really blueberries. <laughs> Crazy, but yes, yeah, see how high we are? This is the only thing that we can survive on right here. Surviving on berries and walking barefoot, totally monkey style. But, <laughs> but that's cool, cool. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Yo, I think that over there is the mountain hut that would be our goal for today. And look at the stunning blue sky. The temperature is just perfect. <sighs> so. As long as you walk on stones is really cool. You see flat surface, nothing can happen to you. That's why it was so practical. Now, this portion here is not so friendly because, especially because it's a bit wet. Uh, which also implies that there is some water. So you could actually probably scrub the ground and get some drinking, drinking water. But yeah, so I'm just a little bit wet. But see, as long as there are rocks, it's cool. Like, basically, if you don't slide, nothing bad can happen to you. So you can go like a monkey. And actually, uh, maybe removing the socks would be even better. Because then the natural rubber of your feet would uh, stop from, you know, sliding away. Uh, yes, but cool, huh? Ja -ja the first valley opening. Ooh. Okay, you know what? I suggest Let's not go all the way to the damned hut and just get over those rocks here, especially since right now it's just like rocks. So let's just go over and get over it. <laughs> Yo, I can call it a mission accomplished. Yes, look where we are. Ah, ah, yes, we made it. I survived like a monkey on berries and walked it barefoot with my socks on only. <laughs> ah, but this was such an amazing ah, thing to do, not to climb to take off the damn shoes and just walk barefoot, man. Like we people used to do a million years ago. That is still in our blood, as you can see. Even a person with Tom Ford lipstick like me still can do that. <sighs> and yes, eating like any random berries along the road. I think that I, I ate three different types. Okay, a little bit. I was worried like, okay, which one is the poisonous one? And uh, I think my teeth and my lips are now purple from those berries because those are natural berries, not grown in a glass house. And yeah, so I'm here on top of the rock. <sighs> Time for some selfies featuring my bare feet. And then a speedy run down and catching the bus back to Tokyo. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Selfies are done, photos, landscape, everything cool. Now a type of cold wind started blowing and apparently the way back will take two hours, which 
Really? If so, then I will totally miss the bus and I will have to stay one more night. Anyhow, me and my socks are heading back to the valley, all the way down there. Wow, see? You can imagine a glacier breaking down all these rocks. And this is the path back, so here we go. See it? Here they are! My boots! Nobody stole them, I mean, of course not. Hello, guys! Ah. Yes, hello again. My shoes! <sighs> yeah, so... I swear to the universe that it's much better to climb like this than like this. See that white here, the white space? That was the rock where I sat on when I took the pictures. So... Yeah, I mean, of course you can climb all the way up to there if you have two days. <laughs> but yeah, I was there on this wide rock. That's where we took the selfies. And that's where we are now. And still have all the way down to the valley. But I got some really wonderful photos of the river here, you know. Look how nice it is. The first cloud. Wow, what a stunning evening view of the valley, the Azusa River. And you can see the sun is still on the top of the mountains. And here we still have autumn leaves in the trees and not on the ground. <laughs> wow, so pretty. And yes, the last rays of sun hitting here. The mountain tops and then you have snow on that peak. And then Yeah, look at my fucking shoes. I mean, they look really nice, except that they are now out of order completely. I have to throw them away. But, you know, like here, it's so painful. I got a lot of water bubbles on my feet that exploded and now, so there is like raw meat because of the stupid shoes. Anyway, what I want to say is that the Alpen Hotel were so kind to not only lend me their crocs for walking now in the forest, but they let me take these crocs all the way to Tokyo and they don't want them back. So that is an amazing service from the hotel. So see, now I can happily walk with these. And so what's important is that here, you know, where I have all the blisters, uh, it doesn't touch. So I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to Alpen Hotel.